guys, I decided to come out here because A, it's nice, and B, I wanted you all to see in natural lighting the Tatcha sunscreen on, the silk sunscreen. Honestly, I don't think it's worth the price point. The tint is barely noticeable, and I mean, it's not a bad sunscreen. It's not water resistant though. I think for the price point, you would at least expect to get that for your money, the water resistance factor anyways. Let me know if you guys have tried it. Um, I reviewed it in my tinted sunscreen video. If you missed it, definitely check that one out. Actually pretty nice out here. Uh, I should have come outside today to do my little morning workout routine. I get questions about that. Like, it's not my full-blown workout, but I like to just do a little something first thing in the morning to get the blood flowing. And I just find it kind of gets my day started. But yeah, exercise is just part of my daily routine. It's just a habit. In my video talking about the health benefits of exercise and how it's good for your skin, keeping you looking young and healthy, I did get some questions to share what kind of workouts I do. And I do have a treadmill that I got around the time of lockdown, so I run a fair amount. But I also do a variety of different workouts with the Obey platform. Today's video is in partnership with Obey. Towards the end of November, I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and try out Obey, and I love it. They've got over 20 live on-demand classes that you can stream from your laptop, your computer, your TV. I really like that you can take it pretty much anywhere. Like, I loved doing it when I went to um, Boston for the AAD. It was nice to have the classes. They have a ton of different class types, like HIIT, Strength, Vinyasa Yoga. The Strength ones are some of my favorites because you guys, if you've been following me, you know, lifting weights is not like my favorite thing to do, but it is so important. So I like having the motivation. The instructors are really good. They use like some of the top fitness instructors in New York. They're really good classes. I do them pretty much daily. I like doing the five and 10 minute express workouts in the morning, but their typical workout is about 28 minutes, but they also have longer classes. And then they have these structured workout programs if you're somebody who likes like more of a program. They offer workouts for all levels too. So if you're a beginner to working out, don't worry, they have something for everybody. So if you wanna get started with Obey, go ahead and click the link in my description box. And if you use code Dr. Dre, you can save when you get started with Obey. I really fired up my badoom. I call it that in a joking fashion. Is it just me or has the adhesive that keeps new bags of coffee closed gotten tighter, different? It used to be that when you got a new bag of coffee, you could pull it open easily. And yeah, there's like a built-in twisty so that when you roll the bag down, you can seal it. But you know what I'm talking about, like you can pull the new bag open and inhale the goodness right away. There's something that has changed in the adhesive of how coffee bags are being put together and it's impossible to open them. And I don't know what's going on, but it's been the past like six or seven bags of coffee I've had. All different brands, Javalia, Lavazza, have had this, I've noticed this issue. So I'm thinking there's something that coffee manufacturers have changed in the adhesive that they use to seal their bags because it's messing up like you can't just tear open the bag in the right way i know this sounds neurotic but hear me out you can't just tear the bag open in the right way you kind of have to cut into it or at least i have had to cut into the bag with scissors and then that messes up the you know it makes the top of the bag like kind of all messy so it doesn't roll up properly it's getting on my last nerve, not really, but now that I've got this cool canister, uh, it's not such a big deal. But anyways, I thought I would share that with you guys. Let me know if you've experienced that or it's just something that maybe, I don't know. I just do five scoops. This is my coffee clip scoop, whatever. All right, and then this is pretty easy because you just pop the lid on and then press this little button. For French press, <clears throat> I like to do a coarse ground. I've got quite the little beverage station going on here. These are all my powders for smoothies. Um, this is that Lazy Susan I got in my FabFitFun box. Then this I've been using more so to, to, to dissolve like my electrolyte powder. I find it helps it dissolve faster. I've also been using it to mix up my AG1. 
And then I've got my milk frother there, which I use to make hot chocolate. Yeah, I have always put off getting a coffee gr grinder, but sometimes there are types of coffee that I really wanna try that are just sold as whole bean. So now I can bring those into my world. Six minutes to paradise. I just made that up, kind of. Stole it from a song, I guess. <laughs> came in here to CVS and I cannot abide by this, the dermasuction pore cleaning device. Uh, let's not say we did. These things, ugh, they're horrible. The suction, it can create suction purpura, which is basically like a bruise. These are also a bad idea because they can lead to scarring. Comedo extractors. Looks like CVS has some new serums tea tree drying lotion this is kind of like the mario badescu one only with tea tree which is common allergy you know it can be a common allergen it has antifungal properties to it but anyways what's in the vitamin c and glycolic brightening lotion 3o ethyl that's a stabilized form of ascorbic acid but whether or not it actually gets into the skin does anything is yet to be determined. Lemon fruit extract, that's a bad idea. To put lemon juice on your skin. Ugh. I really like this Peach Slices Acne Clarifying line. Highly recommend it. Their exfoliating toner is uh, salicylic acid leave on product. It's quite good. And then the clarifying cleanser is good, as is this moisturizer. They're all good, good products. Cruelty free. They have niacinamide which is good for redness. Ah, uh, glad to see the CVS Clear Zinc Lotion now in a tube. It used to always be in a pot. This is a great one. It's a, a hybrid sunscreen. It's a little shiny, but otherwise it's, it's a favorite of mine. Very modest cast. What is this Live Better brand? Body Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. Fragrance Free by CVS Health. They also have a SPF 50 face oil free. This is zinc oxide. Looks promising. Let me know if you've tried this. They'll live better. Looks like Cetaphil gave their mineral sunscreen packaging a facelift with this little starburst, sunburst in the background. I've really been liking this Sun Balm tinted mineral sunscreen. I've been pretty impressed with it so far. I also bought the untinted one. It's not too bad as far as a cast. Untinted, non-tinted, I think is a better term. See, the butt mask has made its way to CVS. <laughs> uh, what does this have in it? Shea butter. It's a scented moisturizer. Now, the papaya fruit extract can be irritating. I don't get it with these things. Hydrate coconut and vanilla hydrating body butter. That looks kind of fun. What's the anti-cellulite smoothing body serum got in it? Helps with stretch marks and cellulite. Lofty promises there. Collagen is a humectant. MCT oil and emollient. And watermelon fruit extract. I don't know. That's not gonna do anything for stretch marks. Looks like they've got some cute little benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid clarifying acne pledged type patches clouds benzoyl peroxide under occlusion can be pretty irritating hmm. oh toothpaste update i've really been enjoying the grape flavor of this hello fluoride toothpaste it's quite good i think it's better than the unicorn actually well, hey guys, I just finished filming two videos back to back. One on the zones of the face that age and how they age. So hopefully you guys will see that at some point, if not already. And if you watched it and liked it, let me know. And I also filmed a tinted sunscreen review video for you guys. But let me know in the comments, have you guys tried this Sun Balm tinted mineral sunscreen? The sunscreen I put on this morning was from this review, the Tatcha one. This, I don't know, it's a pass for me. It's not a bad product. Let me know if you've tried this. Has it become your holy grail? What else did I review in this video? 
the SkinCeuticals been really happy with this. And it's not that expensive for SkinCeuticals in comparison to some of these others that I've reviewed here. I find that tinted sunscreens, they often are costly. I, I don't know, you know, hopefully with more consumer demand for more tinted sunscreens, it'll start to create some more affordable options. This undefined though, love it. Oh, anyways, film me two videos, my mouth kind of gets dry. These earrings, by the way, um, a viewer sent these to me. She has an Etsy shop called Bella Mare Designs. She sends me, she sent me some bracelets before and they're really good quality. Let me take these out, I'll show you up close. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. Well, hey guys, I'm all out of the shower, finished my skincare routine. I have an update. Are you guys on the tripod, right? You're kind of like giving me the side eye. I have an update for you guys on the Fitbit Lux. Now, I love the way it looks, but I actually prefer my Lintelec. Dang, I wish that thing, uh, it's gonna be, I, I miss it because it worked perfectly. I loved it, wore it all the time, and now it's no longer, as I've said a bazillion times, it's no longer available on Amazon. You're like, yeah, we get it. So I've been wearing the Fitbit for a few, two weeks now, roughly. And first of all, the screen, I'm having trouble getting it to come on when I want it to, which I find a little annoying. The lintel you would just tap it and boom, there you have it. So what, comment below, because I know some of you have had the Fitbit Lux, but uh, the band, is causing me some eczema, which is no bueno for me. It's just, I think it's just irritant contact dermatitis from the combination of just sweat maybe trapped up under there, rubbing and irritation, maybe some water getting up under the skin. It's a perfect setup for a little eczema flare, as you can see. So, I've got the magic potion here takes that miserable sensation away right away. So I'm gonna start putting this on that. But yeah, this stuff is really good. It's uh, shale oil is what it's derived from. Sulfonated shale oil, anti-inflammatory. Honestly, like I said in my review of this, I it's not something that I would commonly recommend here. You know, coal tar is similar, and that is a great ingredient for like people with psoriasis. It's anti-inflammatory. Um, it's primarily in like anti-dandruff shampoos and stuff, but there's this type of therapy for people with psoriasis that actually works really well for the skin lesions. It's called Geckerman, where basically we apply coal tar to the skin and then use phototherapy. And it works really well for treating uh, psoriasis. It also works really well for treating like um, a variety of inflammatory skin conditions like eczema, which typically responds well to phototherapy, but it's just not commonly done at all. I mean, it's not, it's pretty much not done at all, except for I'm aware of one center in San Francisco at UCSF does Geckerman because you have to be there all day, every day. It's like an intensive treatment. Um, I mean, intense in the fact that you're, it's just laborious and time intensive insurance will not reimburse for that, which is unfortunate because it's effective. And the nice thing about it is that, you know, a lot of patients don't like taking medications, or dealing with topicals and stuff like that. And many patients with psoriasis, they may have a lot of other medical conditions that make it challenging to take certain medications by mouth for their psoriasis. So this is actually a nice alternative to help the skin condition. And my understanding, because I actually worked with the guy at UCSF, I did a rotation there as a medical student and got to see it live in action. That's why I, that's the only place I'm aware of that does it. I really think they should have dermatologic like spas for people with eczema and psoriasis. I know in France they have, like Aven has that thermal spring treatment center where they do balneotherapy. And I really think that those things have the potential to actually help patients a lot. It's just not the kind of thing that Big Pharma is ever gonna like be the least bit interested in. And you know, it requires people to be there involved in the treatment for a while, but it may, it, re it really can work, I think. There's not a lot of great research on it, but it is done in, in, in certain areas, um, like in Europe, 
this is as good as I'm gonna get to uh, to that and it already feels better yeah this is a great product for people with um, bug bites it's good if you've got a bug bite too as a matter of fact I jinxed myself because I said in my review of that video that I think I said it in that video or maybe a vlog I'm, I'm get I get my videos like twisted together but I think that I uh, I think I jinxed myself because I believe in a video recently I said, fortunately I don't get bit by mosquitoes that often. And lo and behold, the other day I got bit by a mosquito and this has helped tremendously to quelch the desire to scratch. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I hope you had a great time with me today. Don't forget to check out the Obey platform it's amazing if you're looking for you know workouts they have a ton of selections of great classes but anyways if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye